Hello, hello, and welcome everybody. I am alive. <laughs> just to let you all know. Um, just a heads up of what's been going on and why I haven't recorded in a long time. And or why I haven't even live streamed. Basically, first and foremost, my job has kept me busy almost every single day of the week. I've been working long hours. That's first and foremost. Secondly... I'm going to address this right out the gate. Uh, I've been seeing some comments on my earlier videos. Just to let you all know that I never ever claim to be an expert in this. Yes, I'm going to mess up. I'm human. You know, I do these videos for fun. I don't do them as like a study or anything of that nature. I do it for fun, and I want to share that fun with you guys. But going back to those earlier videos, just to let you all know, I didn't have any kind of flight sim set up. I was using basically a gaming pad to fly said aircrafts back then. So I was using like an Xbox 360 controller, which is what I had at the time. Now I got, got me a nice little throttle quadrant. Got me a flight stick. I'm pretty much good to go right now. Thirdly, the big reason why I haven't been able to stream. I basically, over the Christmas holidays and just this past week with my birthday and everything. Yes, I it's it is my bir was my birthday and everything. Um I actually upgraded my PC, basically, and what I mean by upgrade, technically is not two, like one or two or three parts. It was basically a full-on rebuild. So I went to a two terabyte M2 drive. You know, solid state drive. I went to a... I basically moved my... 500 gig M2 as a storage drive, and that's where my recording software is living now. And it's probably where most of most of the videos that I do are going to probably live on the one terabyte drive that I still have. But so I I, I now have three hard drives in this thing. I have upgraded my CPU. From a Ryzen 7 3800X to a i5 14,600 unlock. Basically the latest generation of i5s. And these are specifically meant for gaming. And stuff like that. Because most games only take up one to two cores. And this core is able to handle most gaming. I have up updated the memory from DDR4 2600s to DDR5 6000s. Overclocks. I still have 32 gig gigs in there. I went from an Acerot board to a board that can hold uh, the i5s. I've, it's a gigabyte board. I know that much. I just forgot the series name of it right now. Upgrading my power unit from 750 watts to 1050 watts. Updated the cooler. From a 260 millimeter or 210 millimeter, which whatever that small one is, to a 360 millimeter AIO cooler, has three very powerful fans. And with that being said, I bought two more case fans and I reused one that was still good for me. And Basically, the system is not overheating anymore. That was the problem with the last time, and I didn't know that. 
But I had all intake fans and nothing to let the air, you know, pull the air back out. So everything was all intaking, but nothing was escaping. Or nothing was exhausting. So. And on Monday, I will have, basically, when I do... I'll probably say when I do my second or third video. Going back into the Simbit world and stuff like that. I actually restarted my career. I have acquired CRJs and the the, uh, E-Jets. I got the the one that's in, uh, I guess we can say, early access. E-Jets, and I'm basically, I'm familiar with early access stuff, so I know that I'm probably going to have to manually put in vertical speeds and stuff like that, which I'm perfectly fine with, because at that point in time, that means that my cost index is going to be what it is. And it's going to mean completely zero to me <laughs> in these E-Jets, if, as long as the VNAV is not working proper. If the VNAV, if they have fixed that since I last seen the early access builds, which was through uh, A330 driver, formerly known as uh, the B737 driver, Emmanuel, shout out to him. Uh... Basically, from what I've seen in his last video of the E-Jets, it looked like vertical navigation was working. I'm not sure if that's still the case or if they've actually fixed that somewhat for the early access. We'll find out shortly. Because as you see on the screen here, I have restarted my career because I want to bring the best quality videos. Not necessarily... You know, like expert type stuff and all that. I'm not here to sell products and stuff of that nature. If I was to do that, I'll be showing you bowling equipment. Because that's my job. My job is to sell bowling balls. Sell bowling equipment. Know about the bowling equipment. I just opt to do coaching instead of video sessions. Of the equipment and stuff like that. But I can get with one of my buddies that is starting to become big on like TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook shorts. I probably could get with him and say like, hey, let me throw some of this track stuff. Because that's the company that backs me is Trap Bowling. You know, and do stuff like that. And post up said short on my channel. But that's what I'm not here to do. I'm not this channel is a gaming focused channel. It's not really a bowling focused channel. So enough on that. Uh as far as like I said flight simulator stuff goes, if you're expecting A1 level expert stuff you know, not seeing the fails and stuff like that. Please go somewhere else. This, These videos are not meant for you. These are more kind of slightly comedy driven, I guess we can say. And I will not be on VATSIM. Main reason why that is, is because with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 winding down and stuff like that, and 2024 is on the horizon. I'm going to wait until I can get into 2024 before I probably would start using VATSIM and stuff like that and start making hopefully pure comedy gold videos out of those. (laughs) But 
I am, like I said again, I am no expert. So, basically, with me and the E-Jets, this is going to be a learning experience again for me. Same with the CRJ, because I ended up getting the CRJ bundle on top of it, just in case if, by some miracle, that they do an update here soon to it. But I do have the Phoenix A320. I do have the Boeing 737-800 from PMDG. I do have the AnyBuilds A300. I do have all the free freeware airliners like the uh, Fly-By-Wire A320neos, uh, Headwind Simulations, uh, A33900neo, the Superjet 95, and then Horizon Sims. Uh, Latin VFR for the A321 series of airplane and their 787-900 Dreamliner. Which I must say is very good. They did a very good job with those aircrafts and remodeling and make them usable. Shoutouts to Horizon for that. But, on to the meat and potatoes of this video. Uh, basically, I signed on with uh, Brickyard, or Republic is what most people know him as. And what I'm going to do with the Republic call sign, because they do fly, they are contracted out for Delta Connect, Endeavor Air, and United Express is that I thought I would change it up on some of these flights and use corresponding deliveries. So like the first flight, like the first couple of flights, I might just do Brickyard. You know, so like the first three flights, because they're very short in length, I'll probably do the Brickyard the Brickyard logo here, the Republican uh, logo for these three flights. This one from Portland, Portland, Maine to uh, Dooley's. This one, I will probably end up doing the... Uh, more like... More than likely a uh, United Express flight going back and forth between these two airports. Brickyard, and then this one I'll probably do Delta Connect. This one I'll probably do Amer uh, American Airlines Endeavor Air for this one and this one. And then probably United here on the Buffalo to. O'Hare. That's what I'm kind of looking at for this. Uh, regarding comments to GA aircraft, I'll be honest, I do not know how this technically works with GAs, but I know that they're in here. And the GA aircrafts that are in here, if you go and look, uh, Okay, so we have the Cessna family. Uh, it's the C08, the C140, the C152, the C172, 182, 208, and the 402. Along with the 680. And these are the airlines that will more likely pick you up for a Cessna. Or we have the Beechcraft family of GAs. Which is the 190, the 195, the 350, the E10, and the E20. Uh, the other one that I think that it is the Faulkner. Yeah, I believe it's the Faulkner class as well. 
Actually, no, th this actually might be more of a twin engine turbo prop. Let's see here. Uh, the jet stream family of, air of aircrafts. So the JS31, 32, and 41. The Gulf Stream, of course. Gulf Stream 4 and 5. Uh, the Falcon class, which is the FA-20 and the FA-7X. Uh, the Britain Norm family, the BN-2 uh, Papa and 2 Tango. And then in the others, this is where you're going to find like your Cessna C-130s. You're going to find aircraft in here that are not technically tied down to any one style. And this is more of your, I guess we can say your GA aircraft. Or this is also where your Learjet is as well. But also in this family is the Superjet 9-5. Oh, that was lightning. That I just saw out of the corner of my eye. Makes sense. But yeah, so right now I have the Embraer E-Jet family and the CRJ. I have $1,000, so when I make another $500, i am going to go on ahead and purchase the uh, A310 family. Or if I do enough and everything, I'll just go on ahead and Either get my 737 into action or I'll get my A320 into action. One of the two. But yeah, that's the uh, plan for right now is to... Basically, I want it to start small. So that's what I'm doing. I'm starting with small little regional jets. I'm going to try to build my way into the big boys. Which means by the end of this... Knock on wood, hopefully by the by the time and everything, we'll have the A380 from Fly-By-Wire out. We will have the A350, um, yeah, the A350s from any builds by then. And hopefully we'll have the Boeing 7, the Boeing 777 by then as well. I'm kind of hoping that PMDG kind of ports the 747-400 over from P3D. And I'm also hoping that they do a, a Boeing 38 Max as well. Not the 9 variant, but the uh, A variant. As well. But one thing that uh, you guys will find out about me is, is that I do not like flying GAs. I absolutely hate it. They are not for me. Now, I will th fly the uh, the Citations. The Citation X and the, the Longitude that we have in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. But as you see, oh, hey, we have a pop-up event. That's nice. Uh, it's a little medium flight. What are they using? Uh, why so high? Ugh. I might do this just to get the extra cash and experience. 
and just get an A310 right off the rip. I don't think I would uh, do a video on this. Unless if you guys want me to do videos of the events, I can do that. But otherwise, like, because some of the pop-up events I cannot make. Like these little random flight one, the random flight event ones that are every Sunday. I could do these. I just have to do them on a Saturday night once it hits uh, one Zulu. Actually, this one I might actually end up doing. Jetstar Airways. Actually, I'm going to add that. Oh, nope. Okay, so notify me when event starts. And this is how you do events. You just notif notify and everything. Um, yeah, I'm not really too thrilled about doing this pop-up event. Because if I can remember correctly, a lot of stuff in Africa is a lot of visual. Or RNAV. But, yeah. But as you see, I'm a Republican, and... This is actually pretty extremely high. Almost $40 a flight hour. That's almost pretty high for somebody starting off. And I am perfectly fine with that. Because that means I'll probably be flying for them for quite a while. So my first flight is... From LaGuardia to Albany. A little short hop to upstate New York. I don't think I'm going to be up in the air that long. I th yeah. I'm not even going to make... According to this, I'm not even going to make IFR cruising level. Which is flight, flight level 180. Let me see if I can bring up... Let's do this. Let me turn this off real quick. There we go. So we'll bring up Sim Brief. And God help me on this. Hold up. Automatic. Okay. It's because I'm running a high fidelity. Uh, let's see what I can do. Try to see if I can do something for you guys. So give me one second. Uh, uh yeah, install that. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, large text, small map. Okay. Uh, let's do this. It looks a little bit better for you guys. Not much, but a little. Alright, so we're Republic. Yep. 
Let's do this. EJ. I think it's the 175, if not mistaken. You can always just double check here. You know what? I'm going to do this for you guys because if I'm having a hard time seeing it, I know you guys are. Let's see here. Uh. That didn't work out too well. And there's our nightly cop patrol. Scale, nope. Well, it is scale, but it's not the scale I'm looking for. Yeah, okay, so... It, that is what it is. Okay, dokies. But we are in a one seven five, okay. So let's do this. Embraya, yep, one seven five auto. Yep, brickyard. Is brickyard even in here? No, they're not. But see like when I do like for American Delta Unite it. I can actually use these layouts. But we're going to stay with the Lido laid out. Uh, pounds. Flight map detailed. That is the current ARAC cycle. <laughs> we could do VFR to IFR. <laughs> But, yep, yeah, uh, runway four. Okay, so I need to plan this out for later. I might give this a go on my 2060 Super just to see how it does for you guys and stuff. I, I am getting my 3080 RTX on Monday. So, more than likely Tuesday, I might be streaming League of Legends. Just a heads up. Do a five fifty just to give me enough ample time to try to get it up in the air. Make sure there's no other embroyas on here. No, there isn't. Okay, so that is the embroya. Route to zero fuel weight, yep, yep. Parting runway four. Are they really? Uh three twenty at one yeah, I guess they are. Alright. What is this oh, wait? <laughs> Wow, that's that's something. 
Would that be considered a VFR route? Why would I turn around and go to JFK? What other... Newark... Where is this? It's Manchester... Providence... Uh, Shannon Rock is over there. ABE. It's down south, if that's the case. Yeah. Uh, trying to see if I can find me a. field that is somewhat close to Albany. Uh, not those. Or not. I think the closest I'm going to find is... That's Erie, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Bangor. Pit. Yeah, so... Basically, if I want to make that, I'm just going to turn around and go back to LaGuardia. I'd rather do that. If I can't get into Albany, I'd rather just turn around and go back down to LaGuardia. Do this real quick. Let's see what it's going to give me. 56 passengers. Well, I actually like that. Let's go with it. Let's generate our flight, boys. And. I will catch you all on the flip side. This is not what I was expecting. Uh, let me do this. Some brief downloader. This is exactly what I was looking for originally. But anyways, talk to you all later. This is, that's what's going on. I'm trying to decide if I just want to uh, what you call it. If I want to wait, or if I want to go on ahead and just do one flight in the e jet. Anyways, peace later.